Okay, greetings again from Robot Japan. This time we've got Takimi Pegas, the Edai Grip, uh, the robot, and then the transformed tank. And I'll hold this up, but he's got some really interesting detail on the face. It's pretty challenging to see, but it's all red. Um, great sculpt, though. It looks like they did some sort of wax relief. And you've got Tekaman, the driver on the top. Then Grip has these groovy wings, which close and open. We've got details in the tracks. Uh, really nice die-cast rollers on the bottom. And then in the back, it looks like... Um, you could shoot some missiles from it. My pack didn't happen to have the missiles, but uh, I imagine somebody out there does have missiles for it. Next is the robot itself, where it is small. Um, Comparison is always fun. So, folks, there we've got Mazinga Z for comparison or for kicks in the background hopefully doesn't tip this whole thing over we've got the Takimi Pegas so this is a mighty might of a toy small really beautifully done like jewelry. And what I'm going to show now on the robot is the detailing is just really nice. You open it up and I'm going to shine some extra light in there. You end up having circuitry and a robot inside. And it ends up being the driver. And then the toy itself, poseable, die-cast shoulders, die-cast body. And on the back, this ends up being spring-loaded. And you can see this um, spiral hatch in the back so that when it transforms in the anime, it turns into the tank. No, you're doing that thing. No, no top. Next, I've got the Takimi Pegas. This is what a lot of people were curious about. What does this guy look like in detail? Um, my particular version right here, I've got homemade fists, so ignore that. And um, he's got some repairs in it, but it really is a beautiful die cast and you'll have to pardon that stuff you get the idea of what it looks like um, scale you were able to see just on the side of it it was Mazinga and I'll put Mazinga right next to it again just for an exact height comparison yeah big guy um, with the legs closed and the latches notoriously don't like to go together. You've got a groovy spring-loaded setup where um, these will end up popping loose. There we go. And uh, he's so big and chunky and unrefined, sometimes that just doesn't work that well. But you get the picture, and then right here, um, Mine, the latch had broken off, but you've got Tekamon inside, and um, I'll probably have to readjust his spring, but you can tell <laughs> that it's a really great concept to have him pop out when he's on his belly to form the tank. And then... Uh, at the head, I will zoom in. I've done a homemade disc 
to give you an idea what the heck this thing does. It's like a Nerf. Well, it's like a Nerf shooter, a disc shooter right there. Um, and it fits multiple discs inside. And then on the chest, you get this latch, boink, which reveals two missiles. And then uh, this really crazy gizmo, which ends up being an airplane launcher. You load up the airplane on it, and then, because that's clay, I'm not going to fire it, but you press the whole thing down, and on a good day, it'll release and launch. So I'm taking care, because we've got quite a few years on this guy. And then finally the legs, which I was saying, normally will close, and then normally the button will open, but... Uh, about 80 to 90 percent of the ones I've talked to people about or learned about, the legs just don't want to close up. But there is a vinyl that went inside of it. It's the main driver. So I'm just going to do a few close-ups.